So we're back in the Lake District. We're camping again. <laughs> does it get any better than this? I think it does. I think it could be warmer, sunnier, and I should not have to carry my own bed. Apart from that, it doesn't get any better than this. You're warm enough? Um, it's a bit nippy. It's not that bad actually, it's only 5 degrees today. Uh, I'm going to be dropping to about 3 degrees at the lowest. You told me it was 5 degrees in the middle of the night. Yeah, dropping down to about 3. Happy with this? Yeah. I've got a new tent to try out today. Plenty of room in this one. It is the Terra Quattro three person tent by Valde. So I've broken the golden rule. I've not tried pitching this yet. I have checked that all the bits are there, so it should be good to go. This is going to be like a palace compared to what I'm used to kipping in. I'm not sure I would call it a palace. <laughs> this has got quite a unique design. I've not seen um, a tent attach the poles like this one before. So the pole is just one big, ah, <laughs> like skeleton. Then you just lie that over the top of it. And just drop into these eyelets. That gives us like a tunnel shape. That goes in the end of there. And then you flip all of these on. And then these somehow wrap around there like that. Not somehow, that's how it works, look. Wrap it around, hook it on. Quite straightforward. She's like a spare part now, look, she's in shot. Soz, well then I'm filming you from this angle, so you just use this one. That's what I set that camera up for. i just go off and talk to myself then. And just pull the front bits out. So it's a good job I bought my own pegs. You get six with this tent. Well, the six just required for that bit there. I think that's a big failing for a lot of these um, tent manufacturers. Even the high-end ones, you get rubbish pegs with them. So as you've probably gathered, we're not wild camping up in the mountains today. But we have found you know, a beautiful campsite in the Lake District called Syke Farm, um, which is in Buttermere. I'd like to say though that it is a wild campsite in the mountains. Yeah, it's pretty rustic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's more like a, a halfway house. Um, so if you're you're not quite ready yet for for wild camping, yeah, something like this is ideal. So you can still get to be amongst all the great views. Plenty good walks, but you know, if you want to try your gear out or get something from the car, you know, because you're a bit cold or something, then you can do that. No hills to climb either, is there? I, I'll have you know that I have climbed a little hill to get up to this camping spot, and yeah. that you've purposely chosen one that is not at ground level. The river is down there. There's not many campsites that have got views like this. So although we're not wild camping, the deal was you got to get yeah. You got to get everything in your rucksack. Two sleeping bags in here, aren't there? And a quilt. <laughs> and some socks. And some fluffy socks. Can't be too careful. Your palace for the evening, dear. Is so good to me? I know I am. Oh, 
That is huge. I could almost stand up in there. That's bigger your short ass. Hey, see the summit or the thermos, which one do you want? I don't know which one's warmer. Thermos, warmer. That one's a bit more comfortable. Uh, I might go warmer. It's all yours then. She's stealing all my best gear. And that was the deal, wasn't it? I suppose so. Anyway, that's the tent pitch. I didn't show you. Finished off. That's how it connects. Apparently, that means it's really good in the wind. Um, Acts like a shock absorber. Not that we're going to get any wind tonight. <laughs> After a yeah, couple you of said pints. it was going to be five degrees and toasty warm and everything. Yeah. I don't believe you. Told her, never trust the weather forecast. I had to bring two quilts and a sleeping bag. Probably wants all them and all. I still had to carry them though, didn't I? Yeah, you had to carry your own stuff. About 30 yards on there. <laughs> sure. I've got two hats. Yep. And a hot water bowl. <laughs> and... Cozy socks. Christmas box. Thanks. So yeah, it's going to get down to three degrees. So what do you reckon? A minus six sleeping bag and a minus 12 quilt and all them clothes and you should be warm enough extra hats, extra socks and a piece of bag that's everything set up so we're going to go and check out some of the views and scenery now aren't we look at that the lake's just like a mirror stunning So Joe's last wild camp was up there in the centre on High Snot Rig. A winter camped on Fleetwith Pike in the middle there. And then Haystacks a couple of times and none at Tarn. So this is probably my favourite part of the Lake District. Have you been taking photos for Instagram? I might have taken some photographs for me. That's the one everyone takes the photos of. I think this is called Sour Milk Gill. Should have brought a dinghy with us. Soaking it up. Someone got the fire pit going down there, look. Remaining a little bit. Are you warm enough there? Uh, you want me to be honest? Yeah. Breezy. Yeah, decent size. Supposed to be three person. Got to be very cosy though if you're getting three in here. But it's ideal size for two. So part of the deal was that I cooked Joe a three course meal. I think it's only fair. So I've got prawn cocktail, meatballs and mash and then there's uh, treacle pudding and custard. So which prawn cocktail do you want for starters? You're such a dick. <laughs> I have come up trumps with the meatballs and the golden syrup pudding though. You get back to your film while I dish up some grub. Decent sized vestibule, and there's one at either end. So you could have one just for cooking, and then the other one for your wet gear if you want. Get the pudding on the go as well. Leave that to steam for a few minutes.
These are really good, these. Look what we found. Here we go, bro. And that is why you don't bring custard camping. <laughs> so we're all fed and watered, and we've switched the sleeping pads around. Um, we want a slight slant, so you don't like being head lower than your feet, yeah. I also promised you a chick flick, didn't I? You did. Here we go. Happy? You do know how to show a girl a good time, don't you? Morning. Morning. <laughs> Little fun, isn't it? Yours and mine definition of fun is very, very different. But were I'm you alive. were you warm enough? Yes. How warm? Um, it was toasty. Exactly, toasty warm. So I was right. Um, <laughs> were you comfortable? Nope. Not a fan of these sleeping pads, are you? No, I think um, I really like my van and my memory foam mattress. <laughs> Should we bring a memory, foam, memory foam mattress on the next camping trip? I've, I was just saying, I think I can cut a piece of memory foam to the size of one of these and then I might. Yeah, yeah. Hurt everywhere. I tell you what, I get up and I'll make you a coffee. That sounds like a right plan. Did all right, that tent. Uh, clouds coming over the mountains. Pretty much got the campsite to ourselves. There's two tents down there. There's one over there by the shepherd's hut. Oh, like, that's it. That enough, is it? Yeah, a little bit too much, if I'm honest, but. Apparently, you have to mix it into a paste first, don't you? Yeah, you put a little bit too much water in. But so it's I'll... okay, I'll let you off. There you go. And fill it up, tell me when it's up. Yeah, that'll do, thanks. I'm not as fussy. I reckon them clumps of dry powder <laughs> add to the drinking okay. experience. No one wants a chewy top. Is that alright for you? <laughs> it's not a mirror. So before I finish packing up, <laughs> we'll ask the boss if she's enjoyed herself. So for all the wannabe ladies. And gents. And gents. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. There might that be men might... that don't want to go with their other halves. Okay, that's true. <laughs> um, yeah, tell us what you, you liked or disliked about camping. Although really? it's not been proper winter, it's still got down to three what or four. It's not winter, it's January. Three or four degrees. Is winter. Okay, yeah. Um, Apart from the obvious spending time with you, you mean do something that you love? Yeah. Um, you can't get this anywhere else, can you? You wake up and... Yeah, the view is pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah, and even though I've probably had about two hours broken sleep, if I'd have had that at home, I'd have been proper mardy. For anyone that's not Northern, that's a bit grumpy. Um, whereas here, I've woke up and I'm refreshed and... 
it's nice. Mm, tell your eyes that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't say, oh, look at these uh, bags under here. Uh, um, but I, I do, it's, it re energizes you, it's lovely. Yeah. And, and you can't get that. I mean, I love my van, and next time we will definitely because my back's breaking. But, um, but yeah, there's, I do enjoy it, and it's worth it. And if you don't want to, I mean, I've been up there last time. Yeah. Um, you didn't like climbing was, up that hill, did you? It was warmer, weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't like having to climb hills. I don't like heights. And You're warm enough, but you just didn't. You don't like air mattresses, do you? No. And it, well, yeah, I was toasty last night, and I didn't have any socks on. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was nice, and yeah. I do like having a, a toilet. You got a brew made for you in the morning. I did, which is more than I get at home. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so yeah, do it. I said that last time, but yeah, just and if you don't want to climb a hill and you don't want to sleep somewhere where you're not sure of, then this is ideal somewhere like this that is very basic and is pretty much wild camping except uh, there's a five minute hike to the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, you get all these views from from up there. It's just as beautiful from here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's lovely. And yeah, do it. And then record it and let us all see you suffering <laughs> as well. I think I've sold her on it now. She'll be coming <laughs> week in, week out. <laughs> right, I'm going to get this last few bits packed up. And it's the long hike back to the car. What else you want to say before we go? See you later. See you Thanks. next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next video.